ELA has some great pre-built reports that are useful for segmenting and targeting your contacts. Let's walk through one of our most popular one-click reports and examine our active recurring donors. We'll start like always by creating a new dashboard in our reports tool. Lucky enough, this is a pre-built report in Keela, meaning we're only one click away from achieving this conclusive list of all of our active recurring donors. I'll just scroll down and I can select our active recurring donors report here. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this report refers specifically to anybody with an active recurring subscription logged within your Keela account. So this scheduled recurring transaction must exist within Keela as a recurring subscription. Now, if you're importing donations from another system, I'll also show you a trick for how you can capture these contacts too. But first, let's just take a look at how this report stands as it is. As this is one of Keela's one-click reports, Keela is actually going to pre-populate your overview tab with a few widgets that we think might be useful for you. One thing to keep in mind is that since this is a contacts report, Keela is looking at the overarching contact giving history for some of these widgets. It's not referring only to the transactions that have come in from this specific recurring series. Now, since this is the pre-built report, Keela's just offering these recommendations for you to use, but you can also remove widgets and choose to add new widgets as well. Now, the contact records themselves will actually exist here in the data tab. So this is going to pull up all of the contacts who have an active or recurring subscription within Keela. You can also add calculations to learn a little bit more about these contacts and their giving history as well. Now, let's go back and add that additional filter to capture my offline recurring donors as well. So here, I'm going to click Filter Dataset, and I'm going to add a new filter here, and that is, is recurring. Now, you can see that this is going to show up for fundraising transactions, donation transactions, and revenue transactions. And because in this case, I only want to look at donation transactions. I don't want to look at revenues. So I'm going to choose the one that's nestled here under the donation transaction header. And I'm going to keep this flipped to yes. Now, the last thing you need to do here is you need to update this filter logic to any. So Keela is going to pull contacts that meet any of the outline criteria. They won't have to meet both of the criteria simultaneously. So if I apply filter here, we can see we have a few more contacts who meet my criteria, and they've also been added here in the data tab as well. Now, once you're happy with your report, remember to save it for future reference. And if you'd like, you can also save it as a segment to be used for outgoing communications. Happy reporting.